Hey, I'm Josh Hamlin. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a Paiute deadfall. Um, I hope it's obvious from our videos that we do all this on the spot. But there's no planning, but we walked across this elm tree here. And I figured, hey, that will be a good piece of cordage to use my hobo knife on for making a piece of cordage for for um, Paiute deadfall. So let's do that. Let's cut off a branch of this. This is just because we need a piece of cordage. That's the whole purpose of what I'm going on. Just to get the bark off of this for the cordage for the trap. And try to keep it as intact as possible. And as long as possible. So I'm just carefully peeling it off of this slip of down branch. I'm going to scratch off some of this, this brown stuff. Think so. Okay, now we got a piece of cordage. Now we need some other things. We need a trigger stick, a weight bearing stick, and a fork stick. So, let's look around until we find those. Here we go. There's a Y, and it's a little big, but it doesn't matter because this is going to be sticking out behind the rock. So it's probably good that it's big so that you don't make the mistake of sticking it under the rock, which a lot of people make that mistake. And then the rock falls on it, and it stops the animal from getting crushed. Now we need another stick. It just has to be straight. This will work for that. So this will be like so. Then cordage will be tied around here. Oh, there's one piece I forgot to mention. And I'll show you that in a second. First, let's tie our cordage around here. Okay. Now we need small little piece. Like that, that'll work great. And all I'm going to do here is carve a little notch in the center. And this is just to hold the string so it don't slide around. Good enough. That's pretty inside. <laughs> it's red, looks like it's bleeding. Alright, now we need a trigger stick. I wonder if this looks like a good stick. It just has to be stiff. It's pretty straight. I mean, if I could find a straighter one, I would much prefer it. It's got to be stiff. Not so bad. This is actually the bait stick. This is what the bait will go on. You'll sharpen one end of it. Stick your bait on there, 
something like chewed grass or seeds or even your sweat works for some things because animals like salt um, rodents especially so things like that put your bait on there this hoko knife is getting dull okay here's flat rock we carried it here for that purpose what I'm going to do is stick this in the ground. Like so. Then this is going to go under here, like this. And this is going to go around here. And tied to this stick. So we need to tie the stick right here. So we can just cut off the excess. Like so. And of course it's a balancing act, but you want it to be, because you want it to be so sensitive that it goes off very easily. Only thing is I think that I don't have enough string or too much string for me. So let's try it. Wrap it around a little bit. Now I wrapped it around too much. Okay about just like that. Now remember that our bait is on the end of this stick. This stick presses up against the rock at some point. our bait on there, and we slide it under there, until we find something that it will catch on, and let it go. Of course, um, since it's not a big rock, an animal could easily jump out the side of that. Animals are a lot faster than people think, so what you would want to do is fence it. The fencing won't stop the animal from going through it. All it will do is make them think for a second. Oh, wait a minute, can I go that way? And by the time they think that, it's too late. So all you're doing is distracting them for one second. So you just fence it in. Doesn't have to be good, doesn't have to be able to stop them. You just have to be able to make them think for one second. Just, whoa. Stick some things around it that make them not jump out the side. If they have to jump out the back, it'll take a lot longer. But that's it. That's the Paiute Deadfall. Come in and get some close-ups. It's important that you know that these traps are illegal. So, this is for an emergency situation only. Um, we can't just leave this out here, even though it's not baited. You can also set these across trail lines to get animals point across the trail, though. Animals are really good at avoiding stepping on things. But we can't leave it baited, so I'm going to trip it. And also, that'll let you see how it works. So the animal comes in here, he's like, Hey, there's a piece of food right there. Like, oh, my spleen! Ah! That's how it works. They're simple. To, you, can, you can make every part of the trap while you're walking. Um, make one and set it in 10 minutes. Um, it's a very effective trap. The two-stick deadfall is the only trap I know that's faster to set, but it's like less than half as effective because it has a high rate of failure. But this trap has a high rate of success, um, and it's easy to construct. You can set 20 of them, 30 of them, 40 of them in a day. You know, you set, up, set them all around your campsite, all around your area, you know, and then check it every few hours, check it twice a day, and you'll get meat, you'll have some food, you'll get rodents. I mean, this of course, once this trap gets up to a certain size, it doesn't spring fast anymore. The, the amount of weight taken, you know, will not, it won't work. 
if it's, if it's too heavy of a rock, if it's too big of an animal you're going for, the trap just won't work. But for small game, squirrels, mice, rats, um, things like that, even little birds, um, this trap is extremely effective. The Paiute Deadfall, my favorite. Thanks.